What's up? What's up? Good morning, guys. Welcome to the TFS segment show for the NBA slate of January 9, 2019. Of course, and by more invisible TFS. So uh, we're gonna go and uh, jump to segment one and see how the guys did the night before. As far as the night before, uh, Yambo was my cheap guy. He only had 13. That was really, really bad. Uh, he didn't get the minutes. The problem is, if he doesn't get the minutes, nobody, if they don't get the minutes, they're not going to be able to do anything. So that was the case for him. He actually, he believe, started this game, but went to the bench right away, I guess. The coach just didn't like the matchup for him. So, uh, Harry started, had a 24 in the first half, but only had about 12 in the second half. Fax did really good. Uh, Harrell, 49 for 25, of course, was the best, and Warren was a little bit disappointed, even though Phoenix won that game. Uh, Warren is playing back-to-back, -back, so I still like him again for tonight's league, but we're going to see if he's going to be on my five players. Uh, the total was on 69. Lucky for me that lineup actually ended up double up my money because of those three guys on top and also the fact that I had Clay in there and Clay was actually the best out of all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to segment two and see the five players as far as our price differences between the two sides. That is a total of 1k or more. I mean, that is a 1k difference between the Two players from each side so let's jump to segment two and see uh, the five players that are for you guys uh, the first player of course is a uh, bill uh, basically uh, on, a, on a back to back is uh, 8.9k what it was for the night before 1.1k difference bill will definitely popular uh, regardless uh, Drummond, uh 9.6k and 8.6 in dk i love that price with German. So that's another guy that I'm really gonna like as far as putting him on my lineup. Especially uh, the uh, team he's playing against. So there's a change you guys might see him on my one of my five players. Nurkic, uh, 9.4k, 8.2 in DK, 1.2k difference. Uh, I like the price. I, I like the price, but the, the fact that he's so close to Juman, so it's gonna be hard for me to play him. A pair on the other one, I would rather play him than play Nurk. A 1.3k difference between the two sides. And Conley is really cheap actually, 7.4k in DK. I like that. Uh, last game he went up in a blowout. So uh, let's go ahead and jump to segment 3, which is what I call the main ingredient of this show because it's all about the slate for tonight. So let's go check out the three core players. The cheap player and of course the star of the segment. Uh, we jump. We're gonna jump to the DK website and then uh, as far as the first, I mean like this is probably the first time I come up with a list of like about 15 players that I could choose five on that list. So you know it was hard for me to come up with players because there's so many players that I actually really really like for this league. And all of them are like uh, mid tiers as far as prices. So uh, as far as the first person, uh, I was thinking of putting him as on my as my star of the night, but uh, I choose not to. But he will be the first guy I will put in my lineups, and that will be Collins. Yes, he was only back to back, but the kid is young. So Collins at 7.2 against Brooklyn. And right now, Clean is a little hurt, so I'm expecting that game to stay close because they stay close last night. So let's hope that's the same thing again. Let's hope that game is, a, you know, it stay close. And if that game stay close, I expect Collins to go off in this game. Yes, uh, that's why I was thinking of having him as my star of the segment, but I will have him as my first score player. As far as the second guy. You know, I put this guy, then I took him out, then I put him back in. He's a center. He's also on a back-to-back, -back, and that's Thompson. He played that team, uh, actually, uh, 
about four days ago, five days ago, he played in New Orleans, which they got blown out. That's the bad thing. Because they got blown out. I believe that game was in Cleveland. Let me see. Uh, last time they played, they got blown out. And that was... That was in Cleveland, they got blown out. So imagine they playing in New Orleans, could even be worse. That's why I didn't, that's why I took him out, and took him out and put him back in. But the fact that, uh, where, where's Cleveland? Cleveland, the fact that uh, Nance hurt a little bit, uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be 100%. So the Manny Thompson because of the beast. So I'm going back to him. I'm going back and put him in that. So Thompson is the guy that I'm going to put in there. At 6 Last time on the blowout, he still had about 33, 36 points. So if uh, Nance won't be able to do much, and Thompson at that price, I expect him to play some minutes, even on the back-to-back. -back. All right. So as far as my third call, guys, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to put two names out, and of, uh, like I told you, it was hard. So the guy I come up with, the two guys, I was on this, I was, it was hard for me to decide between them, is uh, Lonzo and Levine. See, uh, Lonzo is playing Detroit. 6.8K, the price is a little bit up, but it's a good matchup. And Levine is playing Portland. Both of them playing a late game. It's a little bit cheaper. And uh, the thing about Levine, so many guys are back now. And that's why I'm scared of playing Levine. Uh, a little bit scared, but the fact now you don't have Justin Holiday in there. He's back on. Look at this, those two games since then. Taking more shots. So uh, I decided to go with uh, Levine rather than Lonzo. But based on how that lineup can uh, construct, if you wanna go ahead and put runs on that team, you can too. So those are my three core players. So as far as the cheap player guys, there's a lot of cheap plays that you can make. All right. So, but the guy I'm gonna go with, he started last night. So if he's starting again, that's what I'm gonna play with Len. And before I ha put him in there, actually I had husband in there. I had husband in there. And then, you know, husband also had a good game against New Orleans in the blowout, which is 27. Uh, and I also think of Nero. So that those, I'm giving you guys, a few other guys that I think of, but I decided to stay with Lynn. So if Lynn somehow is not going to get the start, then I will definitely come back and Iran, I will definitely come back as soon as I find out if he's not going to get the start. I will come back and put, change him to somebody else because there's so many good cheap plays. Even though Len could be good off the bench, if he's not starting, I will not play him as my cheap player. So most likely I will go back to Asman or Nero. Because right now for Utah, he's basically the only uh, point guard standing. Everybody else is hurt. So, but for right now, I'm going to stick with Jeremy Lin. As far as my star, guys, yes, as far as my star, I'm going to go with Truman against the Lakers. At 8.6K, his price just not rising up. Uh... He had a great game last game, the last two games, but his price is at 8.6k. Let's hope that's the game he go over 50. So Juman is my star of the segment, the star of the show. So let's go ahead and jump to segment four and see the cheap list. Uh, my cheap list is always spoken and below, but there's a lot of guys between 4 and 5k. I already mentioned a cup, a cup full of them already. But as far as my list, my list is poking and below. So let's go and check out the list. You have an appeal in that if he's going to start, he'll play regardless. And even better, if he 
stop. So it's happy starting. Then after we probably you already have in then after the rain I try. So after the rain right now I'm gonna do that again. Probably most likely gonna start over in up here. But then again, if not pig gonna be started, I will definitely either have a mood land or play a mood land. So whatever happened, I will make sure I come back to uh, YouTube and post that in my comments. And uh, Connor three with Nike action seven minutes last four games. So he's on the rotation course. He's another guy. He get the start. But I don't, uh, he should get the start. That's another guy that could be really a good play. And uh, the beast at least that is isn't really power in the now, but I think the least gonna play tonight. So but the fact that how it might be out and also um uh, it's just should remain out so maybe she can play too. And Ubu had a great game last night and actually had him in one lineup but that lineup didn't play too good. So I really like Ubu. So let's develop Good to great cheap play that you guys can use. Keep all those stars, those three stars tomorrow. And Cormans, uh, he started good enough, but I don't think I'm gonna be uh, playing him because of all those other cheap guys. Uh, Mills, 26k, over 24, 26 points last two games. It's not a guy you guys can play for me personally, no. But they are first five guys: Napier, McConnell, Cooks, uh, Davies. Obwe, those are the guys who can be loaded and most likely looking to play. But out of all those five, Napier and Obwe is my favorite too. And Cooks could be on that. He's the third, close second to Obwe. So basically, guys, that's the uh, list. Uh, I wish you guys the best. Good luck. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, like subscribe turn on your notification because like i said as soon as i need to change something or if there's some news that i need to pass to you guys i will come and to the channel and post it all right guys again uh, share you know i appreciate if you guys share uh, my channel uh, as i'm trying to avoid the channel and uh, I'm spending money that you guys can afford to lose and 